Hey everyone, today I have a haul that I'm really excited about from Hallmark. And, um, yeah, I literally just got this out of the mail room at my school, so I'm going to be opening it. And while I do, I want to real quick, um, I don't know, talk to you. Not too much, but I do want to apologize because I've been very absent recently. I've been, um, I don't know, I just ran out of ideas after <laughs> Glamour, if we're being honest, and I just... You know, I didn't want to film a bunch of things I wasn't feeling great about. Because sometimes that happens when you're filming a lot. You just don't have any more ideas. And, like, I don't want to just give you something that's not that good. So, um, second note I want to make is about my eyeshadow today. Um, it's not what I got because, obviously, I'm just opening that. But I did want to mention it because I really love this look. And it's based, or it is, uh, the look that um, Tanya Burr did on Daily Mix on What's her name? Freya. It was a Kate Middleton inspired look and I just thought it would fly in my future so I tried it out and what the reason I'm sharing this with you is because I used all Wet n Wild products to do it so I real quick wanted to share with you what I used in case you like that look and when it's in cheap alternatives I was just really excited about it. So I used from the Comfort Zone palette this greenish gray which is very similar to Max Vex which she used. And then um, next I did my silent treatment trio. I used the bottom two colors. Um, this one is what she uses shale for. And then this one I just used in the place of print. And um, then also black tie. I just used the one color for both of those steps. And um, if you, I'll link the tutorial below if I remember so you can see how to do it. But yeah, I was really excited. And then um, everything else was drugstore too. I used, did it all over bad to the bottoms at Maybelline. So. I was just wanted to share that with you. And now on to what this video is actually about, my Hoopla haul. And I went on a few weeks ago, they take so long to deliver, but um, for the balm, um, because actually, like, I'd always heard about it, but the balm is actually, like, half off on there, which is ridiculous. And I got a chocolate hazelnut crisp. Oh, that sounds really good. That's really great. Anyway, um, so here's what I got. I got three things all half off and these are all very popular products I just kind of decided to go for what I've heard great things about and I'm really excited so we'll start with these base products such cute packaging uh, first thing I got is a blush oh I love bubble wrap sorry um <laughs> this is Rat Boy I have new lighting by the way let me know what you think of it I'm still playing with it so I wanted to get some good lighting because I don't really want to buy a new camera, but I thought new lighting would really make it better. So here is Frat Boy, and it comes in this little sleeve, which you can hopefully slide it out of. Oh, that's cool. It has a thing you can scan with your phone, I guess, for a video tutorial. Cool. But I'll give you tutorials. It's okay. It's really hard to get out of this sleeve. This is legit me. I'm not I'm probably going to edit this like at all. Just kidding. But here it is. It's a gorgeous peach color. I will put swatches off to the side because the lighting is not so, the lighting's not so great for showing the products. So that's Frat Boy. I'm really excited about that. The next thing I'm even more excited about, I don't own a highlighting product really, except for my ELF one and that one's not that great. So I picked up the much talked about hyped product of Mary Luminizer and I've only heard really heard good things about this so I'm excited. What it says if you haven't ever heard of it, oh I guess I could describe both these products. I'll start with this one. It says highlighter, shimmer, eyeshadow, too pretty, too popular, luminizer. Okay. Yeah that doesn't really tell us anything does it? It, yep. It is Mary Luminizer aka the Luminizer and Oh, it's a really nice packaging. It's like a sturdy packaging. And then here is the beautiful highlight. It looks so pretty. Yeah, I'm excited. Again, the swatches will be to the side. And yeah, these packaging don't really tell you what these things are as far as color, so I can't really describe them for you. But you can look that up on the Balm website. Now the last thing I got is an eyeshadow palette. Let me get the bubble wrap off so you can actually see it. I got the Nude Dude palette. Again, oh, this lighting is so bad for showing products. Again, off to the side. 
Oh, I'm so excited. It's like one of those like naked type palettes. But it's all neutrals and I didn't have one that was like I have a lot of colors that are neutrals but they're all in different palettes so I thought this would be a nice thing to have. And this is the one I'm most excited about because I'm planning on doing a series of tutorials using this palette like exclusively on the eyeshadow. What am I doing? Alright, that was rather difficult to get off. Here is the palette. I'm excited. And it comes with a little brush thing, which the angle brush seems nice. I probably won't use the other side, but the little angle brush, that could be nice and useful. And it comes with 12 eyeshadows in like naked-esque like neutral colors. Oh, it shows you the color slightly. Um, with, you know, you've probably seen it. It has like the girls and these are covering their feminine lady parts. Um, yeah sassy and sexy and all that and I what I think I'm going to do as far as tutorials let me know if you like this idea is I will use obviously multiple colors in each tutorial but I'll kind of do each one like focused on a look like I might do like a standoffish look that mainly is using that pink shimmery color or a sexy look that's mainly using that matte maroon color and just give you like I'm thinking I'm going to call it what's your new to and then like colon whatever so we look forward to that. It's coming, obviously not today, because I'm already wearing eyeshadow, but very, very soon. And, um, yeah, that's about it. I didn't have much to talk about. I just really was excited about my order coming in, and, um, I haven't made a video for a while, so I wanted to show you guys. Um, also, let me know what kind of videos you want to see, because like I said, I don't have too many ideas except for my series with this, which is coming. And I also have another order that's supposed to be coming from a more indie brand. So we can mix up like what we're using and um, yeah, hope you guys enjoy this quick little video. Sorry I've been so absentee. It's been a very busy time. Um, but yeah, hope you guys enjoy it and I'll see you very soon. Bye bye.